Hey, it's Doug Huntington from Niche Site Project, and this is a case study update, and I want to talk about ranking the site and overall link building. So we have essentially a, a six-step plan that I'm working with, and I just want to talk about them individually a little bit. So first off is the internal link building. So this is really something that you should be planning from the beginning. So you should have an idea about the keywords and the overall structure and architecture of your website. So really this is around silos and I'll put a link below and you can do a little bit more research, but it's not so much about the silos and a parent and page or sorry, parent and child relationship with the pages as it is an internal linking structure that's really deliberate and essentially you're controlling the link juice within your site. So this is very important and it does require some planning up front. And um, if you don't do the, the planning up front, you can actually go analyze your site, do an audit and find out how you want the link uh, juice to flow through your website. Okay, so that's off the bat. Um, the next step that I like to do is blog commenting. So this is essentially, you know, manual. These are all real comments. No automation here. And either I do the comments or my wife does. So they're intelligent, they're relevant to the actual post, and they serve as a connection to the overall uh, the niche and other bloggers out there, which comes into play later. And I'll come back to that soon. Um, I will put another link here. Um, there's a sort of method that I use to find a lot of blogs to comment on that are relevant to the niche. And typically those end up with some amount of uh, do follow links within the comments. So that's important. And I'll put a link below. The next part um, is social profiles. So um, a Facebook page, Twitter profile there and Pinterest. So there may be other profiles that you would set up too, depending on the particular niche. Maybe there's uh, really popular forums that you want to connect to there. Um, so really these are just the, the profiles uh, with a backlink within the, the actual profile. Um, so that's like the Facebook page, the Twitter for profile page and so on. In addition, uh, best practice would be you actually like post links to your, your pages, you post links um, in, in your tweets and you actually interact on those uh, platforms. Um, the next thing that I like to do is a web 2.0. So these are free blogs uh, like wordpress.com, uh, Blogspot, Blogger, um, there's actually maybe the same thing and there's a lot of other places where you could get free blogs. So I um, used to set those up manually but it does take a lot of time. Um, so you can do it manually if uh, budget is, a, is an issue. Um, or I like to use the Hoth and I typically go with the Platinum version because it's the best value. So um, that's something you can get another set of base links. Um, the Hoth does a great job. They do a better job than I would and that's why I use them. Um, next is private blog networks and emphasis on the private. So these are expired domains that have a, a good amount of authority and you can actually you know, buy those domains, set up a new, uh, a totally new website there and then post whatever content you want. And of course, in this case, we'll post uh, niche relevant content that is you know, originally written and um, you know, readable, written manually, nothing spun. And then you can put your own links to your website there. So again, key is private and really the best practice here to reduce risk the most is to have those exclusive use for like a particular website. So rather than creating a, a 10 site PBN and linking out to your five money sites, you should probably create 
attend website PBN and just link to your one money site. So there's not a, uh, a big footprint for your whole uh, network of money sites in your PBN. So again, exclusive use. And this is sort of later on after we have a nice set of backlinks from these other sources. And lastly, this is something that I'm getting into a lot more now, and that's guest posting. So, of course, this is the classic, um, the classic method. Uh, outreach, you connect with bloggers, and basically you pitch them to let you put a guest post up there. So, the way I like to tie it into the blog commenting is I'll go and, and find out where all our backlinks are for blogs that actually approved our comments, and then I'll create a, a list of those sites, contact those websites, and ask them if, um, if they'd be willing to let us guest post. I'll typically just follow the uh, pretty standard script um, that Brian Dean puts out on Backlinko. I'll put a link to that um, in, the, in the notes below. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, you mentioned you have you know, you're a follower of their website. Um, you actually commented on one of their posts. You could put a link to it to remind them, and then say, "Hey, do you want uh, do you want to have a guest post from me?" And the one little trick that I do is I actually put in a a note that it doesn't bother me. Um, in fact, I would want them to put in their own Amazon affiliate links or whatever they want to do to monetize that page. So that's a little trick that I do, and. Um, I mean, I guess the only note to put here is go to pages and sites that approved comments. So really, there's no, there's no secret method to get it done um, other than, you know, you have to actually make the comment and send an email. So it's really a numbers game. And what happens is uh, once you get one or two, you have the ball rolling, you could actually send uh, those posts that you've already done successfully somewhere else as a reference and they can see the quality of your writing and it's much uh, more likely to get approved. And of course, these guest posts are really powerful in that um, you write the whole post and I personally link to my own site often. And of course, it has to be relevant uh, however, it's all in context, it's you know, the right article topic, it's the right niche, and those links uh, really have a profound movement on the, uh, the rankings. So um, that's the overall plan, and it's uh, you know, six steps, but if you take each one individually and break it down, it's actually not too bad to do. So if you have any questions, um, you can put them in the comments uh, below. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, click the link below to actually head back over to Niche Site Project so you could uh, see the conversation that's going on. Thanks.